Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com and we are talking about how to activate a couple. So this video now is called Shadow Mastery. When you are in a relationship, of course, you are going to be exposed to shadows. Right now you are a practitioner, a therapist or a coach and you are trying to help a couple, okay? But we are going to look at the dynamics of the coupling dynamics uh, right now, how it is in your own life. So you most probably are facing some form of shadow, some form of challenge, something that is a little bit friction in your relationship, something that is not perfect, not the way you expect it, maybe there is too much blame, maybe uh, your sex life is collapsing, maybe the communication is not clean, not clear, maybe your partner is not being honest with you, maybe there is too many fight outbreaks, you know, there might be lots of shadows. So those shadows are the places of discomfort, the places where there is something emerging to the surface that forces a readaptation or a reorienting of the, the relationship. So. As a couple, you need to have some form of shadow mastery, some form of shadow strategy. When there is a shadow coming to the surface, you don't just want to dive into it, but really learn how to navigate it. And so one of the core techniques that I use is doing a shadow check. So this is something that you can teach couples. Uh, doing a shadow check means that when you're having an energetic emotional outbreak, you feel tense or triggered by something, instead of running to your partner and sharing what you're feeling straight away <laughs> like that, um, either face to face or voice message or phone or text message, or even worse, just blasting on social medias and shaming your, your partner, you know, which is things that happen. Instead of entering into reactive mode and, and, and um, taking action from this place of reaction, what you want to do is very simple. What you want to do is take a step back and instead of taking action from there, you are going to first warn or ask permission from your partner. So this is what you want, you want them to do. So the way it works is like that. If I feel triggered in my relationship, I'm going to go to my partner and say, listen, over the last couple of days, I have been feeling tension rising in my system, in my body. And um, I would love to sit down with you to do a shadow check. That's it. See, there is no charge in my voice. I'm not attacking them. I'm not blaming them. I'm not demanding anything from them. I'm like, I would love to have a shadow check so that we can design some solutions together or so that I have a safe space where I can voice what I have to voice. So again, this is something that you want to teach couples how to do, how to do shadow check. And then when the day the, we have an appointment, we sit down with our, our partner. And then in that moment, you set up the timer, five minutes, and then you have a free flow space just for five minutes to share what is, what is alive. So, for instance, if I'm the one who was triggered, I would sit down with my partner, set up the timer again so that it doesn't spread over uh, a certain amount of time. And then the agreement is that my partner needs to listen to me without interrupting, without judging, without having any form of reaction, just allowing me to have a space to share. Okay, this is really, really important because it creates a field of safety to actually express and voice what is alive in your relationship. So I might be saying something like, okay, over the last couple of weeks, I noticed that I'm losing you. You're not really, I'm not feeling you present in, in the relationship. I have a thing that um, we've been avoiding each other and uh, that sucks. And I wonder if we could check that out and see if something is happening deeper, if there is any form of dynamic that we are not seeing, so that we can um, come back together. And so what I'm saying right now is that I feel there is some distance happening. Um, yeah, that's it. So you see, it took me like maybe 30 seconds to share that. It doesn't have to be five minutes. And then when I share that, my partner will say first, thank you for voicing your truth. Okay, you can teach those exact words so that it becomes really a pattern. Thank you for sharing your truth. And then my partner is going to repeat, 
instead of responding or reacting, she's going to repeat exactly what she heard. Okay, so what I hear you say is that over the last couple of weeks, you feel that we are not really bonding, that there is a distance, something going on, and you wonder what are the dynamics involved in that? And is this something that I recognize? Okay, did I get this right? You see, this is a very open, conscious, very respectful conversation that you are having in your couple. So that's called a shadow check. And then there is more, of course. But basically, this is the context that you want to set up for a couple. So as a practitioner, as a coach, therapist or trainer, you want to really give them the space to create that degree of safety. It's called a shadow check. There are more uh, checks, <laughs> similar ones. You know, we talked about the gratitude minute, the feedback minute, the, and there, there is more along that line. But this is one of the protocols that I encourage you to teach uh, your couples when you feel like there is tension rising so that they have tools to actually harmoniously and successfully uh, deal with their relationship challenges. I'll see you soon for the next video.